grab an avocado make sure it's good and ripe i find the bigger ones tend to do better than the smaller ones but you can still have a go with the small one they do still work sometimes cut it open to get your big alien looking seed out there i cut around the middle instead of long ways because the important part of the seed is at the bottom so cutting around the middle just means we're not going to accidentally damage our precious seed they're kind of slimy when you get them out, so give it a good wipe off with some kitchen towel, and I like to peel the skin off. Some people leave it on, but when you sprout them in water, it just, it gets kind of nasty after a while. If you're going to peel yours off, just give it a good pick and peel, just look for an entry point. It is as satisfying as peeling off your nail varnish, I promise. Some are easier than others. If you can't get it all off, don't worry about it. Sometimes the outer layer will come off, but the kind of veiny looking under layer will just cling on for dear life. But don't worry, it will come off on its own later or it will stay on there forever. I mean, it, it can do what it wants, it's fine. This pointy end is the top and the fat end is the bottom and the bottom has this kind of circle dimple type thing on it. The bottom is where the roots are going to come from, so that end needs to be hanging in the water and the top end needs to be pointing upwards. Grab a few toothpicks and stick them into the sides on the flat bits about a third of the way down from the top. Try and avoid those kind of crackly line things and you don't need to stick them in very deep, just enough so that they're not going to fall out. And I like to put mine at a bit of an angle so that you can balance it on the glass and the fat end is going to like hang down into a glass like so fill the glass up with water so it comes about halfway up the seed and pop that somewhere with a bright indirect light they need fresh water every couple of days because there's oxygen in the water that the plant needs so when the water level goes down don't just top it up change it out for some fresh water aside from that if you just top it up then the water will start to get really gross and full of bugs and a bit stinky after a while it's best to do a few avocado seeds. They don't always sprout and I give mine about two months and if I don't notice any signs of life, then I chuck them out. The first sign of life is the seed starting to split open. It will start to get a bit of a crack and that will spread across the bottom and this crack in the bottom, that's where the taproot is gonna come out. Next, you'll get the taproot and this one didn't split that dramatically, but it has got this tiny little taproot poking out and this is when I would usually put them into soil. Taproots are quite brittle, so the bigger it gets, the harder it's gonna to be to transplant it without damaging it. But if you leave it in water longer, the taproot will keep on growing straight down. Mine is starting to bend because it just, it doesn't have any more space at the bottom of the glass. Eventually, it will start growing a stem, and if you look in the crack, you can see the stem is coming from the top of the spot where the roots are growing from. It can take a while from when you first see the roots to when it starts growing a stem, but sometimes if you've got a decent crack on there, you can kind of peek into the crack and see the stem starting to form. So if the roots are growing, then just be patient. Eventually, a stem should grow. So let's get these in soil. This is regular potting soil. Avocados don't like to be too wet. They don't like to be too dry. So regular potting soil is a good choice. And I'm using a six inch plastic pot to start out with. So chuck a load of soil into the pot and give it a good water. I like to leave about an inch of space at the top to make watering easier in the future. And with avocado seeds, you don't actually bury them all the way. You only bury them about halfway. So dig a little hole dent thing in the top of the soil and pop the seed in there. Take the toothpicks out first. We don't need those anymore. <laughs> Once you've got it in there, don't push it down or twist it or anything like that. We don't want to damage that little tap root. Just pop it in the hole, push some soil around it and give it another water to settle the soil around the seed. If your avocado seed has a bigger root, then we're going to do the exact same thing. Put some soil in the pot, water it, dig a hole, but then grab a spoon or a chopstick or something and make a, a trench or a hole down into the soil at the bottom of the dent that you dug that's big enough to lower the root in there. And when you're lowering it, if you feel any resistance, if you feel it catching on the soil or anything, take it out, make your trench hole thing a bit bigger and try again. 
Once you've got it in there, give the soil a good water to settle the soil around the root and the bottom of the seed and gently push the soil around the edge of the seed and just be, just be really gentle. You don't want to snap the tap root under there. If you've got a big root system like this, instead of filling up the pot with soil, hold the avocado seed over the top so it's about the height you want it to sit in the pot and the roots are hanging in there and gently fill it in with dry soil then water it, the soil level will go down quite dramatically. Add more soil, water it again, more soil, more water, and just keep going until the soil comes about halfway up the seed. Dry soil is really light, so it shouldn't damage the roots while you're filling it in. And instead of patting the soil down, we're using water to just move the soil into place around the roots, so that shouldn't cause any damage either. Avocados grow really, really tall, and for a potted plant, I want to keep it quite small and bushy. So, when you get these leaves at the top, see how there's this like one set, and then there's a tip on top of them with new leaves forming. Pinch that tip off, and that's the growing tip. And because the plant doesn't have a growing tip anymore, it's going to try and find another way to grow. So, it should branch out into a couple of new branches instead which is what we want, is going to help keep the plant a more reasonable size. With watering, I let the top layer of soil dry out. And then when I do water it, I make sure that the water really comes flowing out of the drainage holes because avocados are quite sensitive to mineral buildup. So if you don't water them deeply, then you can start having problems with them. I keep mine in the same kind of light that they've been in, so bright indirect light. And once they've adjusted to the soil, and they've put on some growth, they've got a couple of leaves, then I'll probably start to harden these off so they can go in the garden and make the most of the lovely summer sun.